Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this RhinoWorks instructional video. In this four-part series, we'll be talking about how to get started with your new Airboss 300. This is part one, where we'll go over all of the things to check and test before you begin to load water into your tank. Without further ado, I'll turn things over to Lee to get started. Hey, it's Lee from RhinoWorks, and I'm here to show you how to operate uh, your Airboss 300 uh, and how to start your compressor and get it running. So first, just a few checks. Make sure you're on level ground. Uh, you don't want to be tilted at all because your compressor doesn't have any sort of a mechanism to shut off if it's tilted. And you can do damage to your compressor motor if you're on, on level ground. So level ground. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check all of the air and fluid valves. So we're going to make sure that every fluid valve is at 90 degrees. There are five fluid valves on the unit. There's the one in the front. There's one at the bottom of the tank. There's another one uh, to allow recirculation. And then there are two controlling your spray wand, one to go to the hose reel and another one down here on your spray wand. And they should all be 90 degrees, uh, which indicates that they're closed. The next thing we're gonna do is make sure we have engine oil. You can check your engine oil. There's a little, uh, little oil, yellow oil cap, which you can unscrew. I can see here that I've got a, I'm right up to my full line, so I'm in good shape. Screw that back on. And then I've got a nice viewing window of my pump here and I can see that I've got uh, about three quarters up the window, which is where I wanna be for, for fluid within my compressor motor. Uh, finally, I'm gonna make sure I got gas. I'm sure I do because I just checked it. But to humor everybody on the video, we'll do it again. We're in good shape there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my red on switch is in the on position. Um, Make sure you don't make that mistake or you will get nowhere when you're pulling over the engine. This little white lever up here is the choke. Normally I would leave it on when I pull the machine to start it and then slowly, gradually take it off when the machine's running to keep it running. This machine's warm. I'm not sure if it's going to need it, so we'll see. The next is my fuel switch. Um, left is off, right is on, so I've got fuel to my engine. And I'm not going to touch my idle or my throttle because my throttle is actually controlled by the compressor itself. So it's automatically going to be in the high idle position. As soon as I fire this up, it's going to want to start building pressure. And when it's full, it will automatically come down. So here I am, I'm in the on position. We'll put the choke on for fun. I'm just going to rest my one hand on the cap and I'm going to give this a pull. So as you can see, our engine and pump are running. It's still a little bit noisy, but it's gone down to idle. Uh, so now it, the engine's idling, the pump is running at a reduced speed, and our pressure is at full, full capacity. So I've turned the engine off so that everybody can hear me again, but essentially what happened is the engine idled up, we filled our tank, and we're now sitting at the right uh, pressure rating, as you can see on the gauge. And, um, our unit is ready to spray. So that's all there is to basically uh, to getting it ready to go. Uh, next up, we'll show you how to spray. I'll put some links in the description for all four parts of this series, as well as a general Airboss overview. That should do it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about what we've done here today or about any other RhinoWorks products, please visit us at www.rhinoworks.com. That's R-Y-N-O-W-O-R-X dot com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.